Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my first Halloween makeup tutorial and this video is based off of the comedy and tragedy masks that you've seen in theaters before, both in Greek theater and Shakespeare's theater. And basically it's just a glam, I guess, version of those masks with one side being all full makeup and the other side being kind of smudgy and rough. I feel like this is definitely a unique and different Halloween kind of look and if you're interested in seeing how I got this, just keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to go in and prime my eyes. I already did my eyebrow, one eyebrow off camera, and I have an eyebrow tutorial if you want to go check that out and see exactly what I did. I basically just did what I normally do for that. And I'm using my Milani eyeshadow primer, and I'm going in and setting that with a shade from the Manu MUA X Makeup Geek palette. For the rest of my eye, I basically used the Makeup Manu MUA X Makeup Geek palette on all of it, and I use the color Sora in my crease, Frappe on the end of my crease with Aphrodite, and I use Luna on my lid, and those are the colors that I use all from that palette. To create kind of a half cut crease, I'm taking some concealer on my concealer brush and just packing that on the front first half of my lid and then I'm going to be putting that color Luna from the palette that I told you about over top of it so that it'll stand out a bit more. Just a bit more blending around the edges and the eyeshadow is done. Moving on to mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm just coating this eyelashes and then I'm going to be putting on Ardell lashes eventually, but I'm just doing mascara for now. For my foundation, I use L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 106, Sun Beige 106, and I put that all over the left half of my face with a, beauty, a damp beauty blender. Now I'm just taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium and carving out my brow like I do in my eyebrow tutorial and using the same concealer brush that I used on my eyelid. To set my face, I use this Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And I know it's a bronzer, but with this foundation shade, it's actually a perfect color for setting the foundation. So I just use this buffing brush from Real Techniques to set that half of foundation. I went ahead and put some of NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean in my waterline and smudged it out a little bit and now I'm just blending the sides a little more so that the top and bottom blend together. Now it's time for lashes. I put on Ardell's Wispies, and let's just say it definitely took me more than one try to get these on, especially with how I had to hold the mirror, so eventually I go out of frame, but it's only so that I can actually put them on right.
And with those lashes finally on, I'm just going to add another little coat of mascara to kind of blend my lashes and the false lashes together. Dipping back into the Mandy Anyway X Makeup Geek palette, I'm using the shade Artemis to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Now on to contour. Honestly, I never really contour and I don't own a contour powder, so I'm using two eyeshadows from the Morphe 35P palette. And I just took this brush from Morphe and I'm carving out my cheekbones and underneath my jaw with just the two eyeshadows from that Morphe 35P palette. Now I'm going into highlight and I'm using my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop palette and I'm pretty sure I went in with Prosecco Pop instead of Champagne Pop on the cheekbones. And this is what the face makeup for the left side looks like. So now as you can't see, I'm going in with my ColourPop Lippy Stick in Ultra Matte, the shade Love Life. Basically I'm just filling in the left half of my lips like I normally would, just like you normally put on lipstick, and then in a bit I'll back up and you'll be able to see me draw out, extend my lip line. So now I put my glasses on and I can see, and I'm taking another concealer brush from Morphe and I'm just dipping that into the lipstick and extending the lip out in a Joker-like fashion to create the effect of smiling lips even when I'm not smiling. And that's it for the left side of this face for the comedy half of the theater masks. Moving on to the tragedy half of the theater masks, I'm taking the NYX Dermo Pencil in Black Bean again and just putting this all over my lid, covering it, and then I'm just going to smudge it out with a brush to kind of just put it all over, make kind of a smoky eye effect, if you will. Here I'm taking yet another concealer brush and just smudging out all of that um, eyeliner just to make sure it's all over where I want it to be. And now I'm going to be setting it with a black shadow, just any black shadow you have is fine. Just set it and kind of darken up the color. I'm using brow gel on this brow just to kind of make it a little sporadic. It doesn't need to look nice. You kind of just want the hairs to go everywhere and that's what I'm doing with the gel. Onto my favorite part of this half. You're gonna take NYX liquid liner in black and basically I'm just drawing tear stains underneath my eye, just dragging the liquid liner down. It doesn't have to be pretty. Obviously it's supposed to look like smudged makeup. So it's just dragging it down the cheeks and around the side and underneath the eye as well. Now we're putting on mascara using the same L'Oreal mascara as before, and unlike with the other eye, you can get this all over your lid. In fact, I suggest you run the brush over your lid to get more of that smudged effect. I'm going in with the same shades that I used for contour on the other side and the same brush, but I'm going to make it a lot darker and a lot more deep looking as if my face is hollowed out.
Now to symbolize the two masks on my face, I'm taking those same shades I've used for contour and putting them on a eyeliner brush and just drawing a line down the middle of my face and then I'm going to be blending the shadow out towards the right side to kind of give the effect of one mask overlapping over the other. Just going to contour a bit up by my brow bone, again giving the hollowed look all around my face and underneath the eye a little bit too. And for arguably the most fun part of this look, you're going to put on lipstick again. The same lipstick as before, it doesn't have to be pretty because you're going to take the back of your hand and you're just going to pull it and smudge the lipstick down the side of your face. Do that a couple times until you've gotten the look that you want and that's basically it. So that's it for my very first Halloween makeup tutorial. I'm going to be having tutorials like this every week leading up to Halloween, so I hope you guys stick around for that. Please let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this makeup look, if you plan on doing it, or tell me, just tell me what you're going to be doing for Halloween. Are you going out trick-or-treating, hanging out with friends, or do you not really celebrate Halloween at all and just wanted to watch this because? Thanks for watching, I really hope you guys liked this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!